Hi friends, in Planet Earth Dating, it's Friday, November 18th, 2016. In both the Lynn Life and the Jamie Body Mind, the authorized souls continue to be only child souls from the deeper, smaller, denser dimensions. And our focus continues to be on our foundational assignment, which is to do what is ours to do right now, in every right now moment, to manifest the divine plan, the data quite clearly showing that nothing matters more than survival of the truth, that effective dealing with in unpleasant and inconvenient realities begins with acknowledging those realities, and therefore holding a search for truth space is what matters most. And with that, the formally videoed portions of today's efforts begin. I'm starting to reach down into those moments, right after <laughs> those moments of mass death here on planet Earth, where the decision was made to ignore reality, mm. to decide that just didn't happen, that didn't just happen. Nothing happened. <laughs> We're okay, we didn't all just die. I well, feel we didn't all just shift dimensions. That word die yeah. has become a tainted word, unfortunately, like so many other words. Uh, death has turned into meaning, uh, quote, the worst possible thing, unquote, That's which true. is crazy based on absolutely nothing. And what do I base this on? Somebody saying, well, the one big uh, contributing factor to my uh, conclusion that death is not the worst possible thing is watching millions or billions of sentiences not even notice that they're dead. That's true. So uh, quite clearly it's really not a big deal. And all that it is is a shifting from one level of denseness to a slightly lighter level of density. Now there's supposed to be a big shift, a big transition. That's true. But lately it hasn't been happening and somebody says what do you mean by lately and I'm not sure it could go back several thousand years that's true. But the astrals have gotten really, really, really thick, and so it's hard for presences who have just let go of one level of density to move up unfettered to the light. That's uh, true. We hit up against others who have let go before us, but who have not moved up to the light, and we're just, there's a big backup. It's like uh, if a toll booth uh, broke down and only one lane was running, and we're backed up to Pennsylvania trying to get to New York through That's the true. turnpike uh, toll booth. Uh, it just takes a really, really, really long time to get to the light. Someone's giving yeah, me the go, go on, on motion, what, and they're saying, what do you, w and what have you learned from this? Uh, what seems to have happened is that there seems to have been a collective agreement that what we do now in these situations is pretend that that didn't just happen. Just That's pretend. True. Just deny that some event happened and now we've bumped up another level. That's true. And and so there are all these levels of density that go down beneath us, getting denser, 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 denser. That's true. Uh, and where there's even a heavier level of denial, where they're pretending that that uh, previous event of mass death didn't happen, and then that previous event of mass death didn't just That's happen, true. and this previous event of mass death definitely didn't just happen. That's true. And for goodness sake, don't acknowledge this previous event of mass death, mm -hmm. because that's the one that's right before the most recent previous event of mass death. That's true. And what seems to be happening is someone of higher vibration seems to continually be shaking this box of rocks, so to speak, mm -hmm. trying to get that's us true. to let let go, let go, let go. Just let go. Look up. Find the rings of light. Go up. Go to the light. Still that go on hand is see the hand. motioning. And, and so what do we know? We know that this morning on our run, what we were working with was to correct the errors of deciding in those crucial moments to deny reality. That's true. And that's a mistake. Denying reality is always a mistake. It that's keeps true. us powerless to deal with the situation. And we're just, I guess, deciding that's an inconvenient reality when it's actually a fabulous reality. That's it's true. It's like, cool beans, 
let's go check in. This game's over. It's like we've been playing a long running game of Rummy Cube. That's true. And the game has somehow managed to last six years because uh, somebody has to get more than 200 points ahead. And then finally, at long last, the game is over. Hallelujah. Let's check in, get another game board, go down and start playing another game. I'm kind of tired true. of Rummy Cube. That's true. Mm. I don't see the go on hand right now. No, I don't see the go on hand either. Maybe that's the point they were trying to get us to make. That could be. We could correct the errors of participating in a delusion rather than acknowledging what just happened. That's true. And we can draw up all of us who want to move on, all of us who are ready to acknowledge something happened somewhere along the line. We don't seem to be uh, alive, quote-unquote, according to the traditional definition of living. That's true. Mm, and what a shock it is to discover that death is no big hairy deal after all. That's true. And so to draw those of us who are willing to acknowledge something happened somewhere along the line. As it turns out, we don't seem to be alive after all. How interesting. This is no longer a physical dimension after all. It's, it's very surprising. Uh, or it is to me. I was That's surprised. Yeah, I, I found it uh, shocking. That's true. But the data points just keep landing solidly. Boom, 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 boom. That's true. And when we look back over our personal experiences of sentience over the past two and three years, goodness gracious, all those signals. And now I feel like an idiot. Oh, uh, someone is saying yeah, they feel like, I an, feel idiot like an idiot for not realizing what that quite obviously meant and somebody way up high is saying how could we have possibly made that more clear and I, I actually That's kind of agree point. with that that yeah. that was very clear we just didn't it seems so unlikely that's true so here's what we're supposed to say to all you psychics out there when our channels are out, we're picking up the vibrations of the presences around us. That's and if true. all those vibrations are engaged in a shared delusion that we're alive when in fact this is an alternate reality, you're going to be continuing to feed yourself these, these lies. That's what you're feeding yourself with your That's channels true. out. So to... Uh, hold your channels up and you have to physically push them up and they will stay up for a couple seconds at Maybe. best. That's it's extremely true. difficult to do this. I don't know if you saw that related Soul of Ra a week or so ago try to hold his channels up and he could do it that's for true. less than two seconds and that's a raw. That's true. So don't think that we're going to do better. We that's aren't. True. We aren't going to do better. To hold up your channels and just say Maybe we're all dead. Maybe we're all Maybe we're all dead. And then to look up, find the rings of light and just go up. And then to start calling to your loved ones this way, this way, this way, this way, this way to the light. And keep going. Because when we stop, turn around and see if people are following us, everything stops. That's true. We've got to keep going. And then be part of the updraft rather than part of that which is blocking the updraft. In other words, lead the way for dead children to get to God That's rather true. than blocking the way from dead children who are trying to get to God. And there are hosts in each dimension, host lives, who have, by I guess soul agreement, agreed to be exhaust tubes, exhale tubes, it looks like chimney stacks in That's Dickensian true. England That's where true. all the exhales are being allowed to happen, dead presences moving through sentiences who have agreed to hold space to let the dead presences move through them. And we can be those. We can all choose to participate in this and let those from the denser levels move through us. And when enough of the denser levels move through this level, then presumably this level also will be willing to pack it up and move on out. And what That's do we true. know? The hand is still saying, keep going, keep going. What do we know? We noticed that it seems to take about 300,000 years That's for true. this to happen without assistance. And that's too long. That's true. That's too too long to stay in the cycles of suffering known as samsara. 
Now there's just lots and lots of argument. It's not argument, uh, it's not worded as argument, it's phrased as questions. But having taught classes in angelically guided multidimensional energy healing for soul purpose for five to seven years, five to nine years, depending on how you count it, uh, we, we know an argument when we hear one. Uh, that's an argument. They're asking questions that are saying, but what about this? But what about that? But what about the other? And what they mean is, I don't want to deal with this shut yeah. up shut up shut up shut up yeah that's what that means look up look up see those little red dots up there what that is is a camera running everything's recorded friend N they're looking at all of us all the time we're all being surveilled that's quote unquote true. all the time there's constant surveillance from above this is just the reality of it and there's nothing wrong with it we don't have to make it be something bad that's they're true. always watching look up see those little red lights those are cameras running it's all being recorded look up it's on the record that you're blocking dead children <laughs> from getting to God. It's on the record because that's what you're doing. That is what that's you're doing. True. That's what all of us are doing who are not allowing it to exhale through us. If we aren't allowing denser levels to exhale through us, we are part of that which blocks the denser levels. We're part of the stopper. Do that's you want to be part of the stopper, preventing presences from getting to God? Do you want that on your record? Really? Really? I don't want I it don't on mine. <sighs> I choose to stop being part of the stopper. Stop being the stopper. Let it rip. Let it go through us. In the early days, teaching the classes, we called it Upward Rising Earth Energy. That's true. There are lots of different labels that we've used over the years to really try to get people to do what's necessary. But what's necessary is to allow this exhale to flow up through us. And if we let it flow through us, primarily at the back, it creates a win-win-win because it pushes us forward in life. That's true. Life in this dimension, whatever it is, however it's being defined in this collective uh, delusion. That's true. Well, that shut them up. <laughs> yeah, they're all quiet. Or, uh, do you or hear anything? I don't hear anything. Yeah, I don't hear anything. They're all quiet now. That's true. So let's correct this huge, enormous error that all of us are making over and over again of choosing to stick with delusions uh, like uh, denying climate change or That's denying true. that we just elected or we are ensconcing, preparing to ensconce a white supremacist who's a sexual predator into the White House and we're let's not normalize this this isn't normal this isn't okay let's not pretend that it's normal let's not pretend that it's okay let's correct the errors of denying reality I do think that Pan is preparing to leave when we leave I see him he's not necessarily putting things in boxes yet Maybe the first couple of things, but he's definitely packing up. That's true. It's going to be really cool to do this with awareness. That's you know? true. And then get we'll just we'll just go up to the level that everybody has gone up to. You know, just that's one level true. up because that's what they keep saying. Just go one level up. That's true. It's going to be wild. It's going to be like lucid dreaming when you first start to be aware of, oh, and this is a dream. I'm having a dream right now. Or quote, unquote, I'm in an altered state. I'm in a different state. That's true. It's going to true. be like that. That's going to be amazing. Wild. We notice there's a lot of resistance to accepting the idea of I'm denying reality, quote, That's unquote. True. But that there's more openness to the idea of Maybe I have a convenient lack of curiosity. That's true. Uh, which uh, arrives at the same result. We definitely, these sentiences had a convenient lack of curiosity for the last three years. Now that we stop and look at things that happen, oh wow, they were, they were laying it out for us so clearly. That's true. We just didn't notice. We didn't follow up. We had a convenient lack of curiosity. 
correcting the errors of a convenient lack of curiosity. There's a lot of them. A lot of them. Correcting the errors of a convenient lack of curiosity. running the cables at the back of the energy body and drawing the focus up higher, 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 higher. Ooh. Now starting to reach down. All right, we're over time. <laughs> Correcting the errors for the formerly videoed portions of today's efforts, including the emissions for today. Saturday, uh, Friday, start to finish. Including the emissions. For the week that ends this coming Saturday at midnight. Wrapping the work. Wrapping the work. Sighting up, sighting straight up the search for truth central axis to a consistent source of truth and inspiration. Saying to the closing process, go straight up, go straight up for a consistent source of truth and inspiration. When you start to fall down, as is inevitable, get off at that level wherever it is.